Hello and welcome to Bay of Fundy Fortunes. My name is Natalie. I'm here this evening to do the general monthly reading for the month of January 2019. Yes, I know it is the 8th of January. Go back. Uh, this week I put a video up. It says we're back. That's what's on the video. Um, and it'll explain where I've been for the last month. Kind of missing in action. So anyway, so I thought, you know, we're not even halfway through the month. There's a good chunk of the month still left. So I'm putting up the readings as they are. No apologies. So let's get right into it. For those of you that are new, this is a five card spread. First card is your overall energy. Second card is your wealth and finances. Third card is your heart, your home, your love, intimate love. Card number four are your challenges, should there be any. And card number five is your message from spirit. And I'm pulling one extra card. That's going to be a peek into 2019 for you, Sagittarius. These readings um, at Bay of Fundy Fortunes always uh, cover for all three of your signs, and that is your sun sign, your rising, and your moon. These are general readings, which may or may not resonate with you at all. That's why they're general. They're not personal. Cut the deck, consult with Pendulum, Lilith. Lilith, as this deck stands at the top five cards, the cards are meant for this free public general reading for the sign of Sagittarius for the month of January for the year 2019 are the top five cards, the cards that are meant for the Sagittarius reading. That's a nice yes. Now, now you're coming. You know this is the last reading, right? And now you're coming to life. Okay, thank you. All right, here we go. Okay. Your very first card, your overall energy. Oh, I haven't seen her in a while. Wow. Look at that. Oh, there's something to get excited about. Card number two, wealth and finances. Boy, this card's been showing up an awful lot in the readings. The vortex, temptation. Oh, not you. Your house, your hearts, your home, loves, your personal relationships. I have not seen him in about two months. He's my waste of space. He's my Fabio of the sea. <laughs> Oh, boy. Your challenges, should there be any? Again, and that keeps falling into the same place. Endurance, seven of wands. And card number five, the final card is your message from spirit. The four of wands and reward. Now I'm going to shuffle the deck up just a tiny bit. I'm going to cut, pick the top card from the deck and I'm it's the mystery card because I'm, I'm laying it down face down until the end of the reading this is just going to give you a kind of a peak preview into 2019 I had to cut all my nails off when I got sick and I can't pick anything up and they're a mess Ugh. look 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 I am done so work with me here the last reading is this reading for January. I've been plugging away at this all day long to get them done. That's good enough. One run through. I'm going to cut the deck. Cut the deck and lay it right there face down. We'll find out what it is at the end. 
Okay, okay. Oh, I love her. The star brings hope. I mean, you know, some of these cards, the way the, the reading begins is just, to me, amazing. Um, and it's like, I make a big deal out of that first card, the overall energy, because it is a big deal. You got the star. You got hope. You've got love. Um, she's also here, and she's acknowledging right off the top, Sagittarius, 2018 was not an easy year for you. January of 2019, where we are now, has been a bit of a challenge off and on. Um, you've been working through some heartache. You've been going through some conflict. The conflict and the the unsettledness, the unhappiness that you've gone through. Um, our lessons learned, you're, you're gaining a new understanding and you're having hope again where you didn't for the last few months. Feeling like you're being cursed. <coughs> and you are not being cursed. Matter of fact, the tarot wants you to trust more in the universe. When you do, you're going to receive some healing, which is going to reinstill your hope and your belief in for better days to come. A lot of personal growth when this card shows up that will be taking place through the month of January. Good things are happening. Um, good changes are coming your way. New patterns are going to develop. New way of thinking, working, living. You are on the right path. You're where you're supposed to be. Um, it may took, it may have taken a little bit of hell and back to get there, but that was all worth it. And it was all meant to be that way. It was meant to work out the way that it does. When the star shows up, <coughs> that is a sign that it's a sure thing that everything in your life that you're going through right now is going to work out and everything, everything, everything is going to be just fine. Not to worry. Trust in the universe a little bit more. Follow your heart to be true to yourself. Respect your inner knowing and your intuition. Don't question it. Your keywords are creativity and dreams, intuition, healing, spiritual path, rebirth, and any wishes that you have, any things that you're looking. This is the card. The answer is basically yes, you're going to get your wish. This is a good month for you. Okay. Now, you got to be careful in the financial department. Don't be tempted to do anything stupid. <laughs> um, but somebody's either going through this or they've just gone through this. You're feeling of being trapped in your life. Feeling of being trapped in a relationship. Feeling of being trapped in a job. Trapped where you live. Trapped within a group. Um, just trapped and backed into a corner and you don't know how to get out. Um, and as I said... Uh, you're feeling powerless, and this could be jobs and relationships that this is affected to. You're feeling like um, <coughs> there's no control. You have no control over what's going on around you, which is not true. <coughs> feeling lost. This card sometimes represents affairs of the heart as well. Or you feeling an attraction to something or someone that is no good for you. Back up. Back away. I don't care if this person fills you with joy. I don't care if this person excites you, makes you dizzy with desire, all that good stuff. They're not for you. Move on. It's a bad situation. Don't get pulled into it. It's also a card of addictions as well. Um, so you have to be careful. If you find yourself overusing or over abusing anything, and that's food and love and sex and drugs and street drugs and prescription drugs and alcohol and all those things, you need to get a grip. You need to get on top of it. Don't be reckless with your health. Don't do stupid things. Don't assume stupid things. Because that's a word, and I hate that word to use on people, the word stupid. But some people, they're a long time learning a lesson. They can get beat over the head more than once and they still don't get it. Be careful and mindful of your health. Avoid the temptations of things that are not natural for you. 
try to pull away, distract yourself, refocus, get yourself some goals where these things cannot fit in. There's no room for them. It's time for you to let some things go and start anew. You're going to be able to, even if you have to, you may have made some agreements and promises um, during 2018 towards the end of the year, but you are allowed to make agreements and you're allowed to break agreements. That's coming through. Not only that, when it comes to bad habits that are no good for you, you can break free from them. You can. And it's going to be a lot easier than you think it's going to be. And some of you may have regrets saying, if I had known it was going to be this much of a smooth transition, I would have done it sooner than this. This could have saved yourself a lot of trouble. But you are in the driver's seat of your own life. It's time for you now to shake things up, to wake up, and take back the power over your life. Take your power back. Keywords are choices and contracts, control, power, affairs, restrictions, and addictions. Do not let these things get in the way of all the beautiful things that are coming to you. You want to pick bad habits and addictions over a good job, over a good relationship, anything like that. Job-wise, you'll be settled down for a little bit, um, but there's still some restlessness there. It's something for you to think about your future income. Okay. Third card. And why are you here? <laughs> I don't like him. He is somebody that is real flight by fancy. He is somebody that thinks he's going to get by through his life and in this world with good looks. He's got the chiseled jaw, the long flowing hair, and isn't he pretty? Yeah, well, you know what? I see any man pretty like that, I walk the other way. I don't want to be with anybody that's prettier than me. <laughs> Do you? No, you don't. My goodness. But, oh my gosh, I don't like this guy. He's just a waste of space. Uh... What to be said about this guy? He's not evil. He's not mean. Um, he's a dreamer. He has some ideas in his head that he gets excited about. He doesn't deal with reality very well. These are all pie-in-the-sky dreams, get-rich-quick schemes, and he, he can't seem to do anything on his own. He's always trying to talk other people, getting on board with him. He's got a reputation. Um, he tells a good story. He puts a great impact behind and has you almost hook, line, and sinker just with his enthusiasm alone. And, of course, that dazzling smile and those those handsome good looks. Um, it, it, most people that are that are unbeknownst to who he really is and what he's about, they melt like butter in this guy's hands. And he knows it. Um, and like I said, he's not mean, he's not evil, he's not a troublemaker, but he's going to come into your life pretty close to home. This could be a relative as well. Um, this is somebody you know, but they could be a relative. I'm feeling more because it's so close to your personal, your personal home. And they, they, they want to get you involved. They want to take you down that road. And it's, it's, it's fail safe. It's, you know, it's, it's, uh, his ideas are guaranteed the whole. Don't let anybody come into your life and do that to you. Don't give anybody money. Don't co-sign. Don't put your name on the line for somebody like this. If you think his proposal, whatever it may be, may have some merit to it, some truth. If you have the luxury of time on your side, sit back and observe. 
Judge by his actions, not his words. Judge by the results of his actions, not what he tells you. It won't take much and you'll see that it's the same old, same old. Chances are it is the same old stuff over and over again. Um, you've got to be firm with this person. This guy, his whole life is one big fantasy. Who is that to you, Sagittarius? Who is that to you? Somebody not dealing. Ah, oh, maybe it's you. Who knows, right? Got to put it out there. Got to say it. And it could be. And if it is you, it's time for you to snap out of it. And time for you to grow up and become a mature, responsible adult. And um, leave other people alone. That's what I'm going to say about that. Your fourth card is your um, challenges for the month. And all it is is you've got the seven of wands. And sevens are all about great possibilities. Anything's possible when the sevens come up. Which leaves you open to being positive, to um, becoming a part of, being active within, um, really having the endurance. When things don't go right the very first time, you don't get answers to your questions immediately. You have to learn to be patient. Everything's about divine timing. It will come to you when it's meant to come to you, if it's meant to come to you. Um, you're going to have the endurance to hold on. You're going to be, I said to someone not long ago, you're like a cat. What do you mean? I said, every time you fall, you land on your feet. The universe favors them for some reason. Um, and you've got tons of endurance because you believe in tomorrow. You believe that there's always better. You believe in the goodness. Um, chasing away. And this, this person here is just your reality. If it isn't you, it's your reality. <laughs> Some people have a way of just snapping you down into place, don't they? Whether you want to or not. This card also represents um, you fighting for a relationship of some kind. You're really left to fight for your relationship. Um, protect your integrity. Even if it's really difficult and it causes and creates difficulties for you, always do the right thing. Respect your integrity. This card could also see you defending others, speaking up for people that are not there. Um, the underdogs. And I don't know what that's about, but it is there. Be clear in your communications with others during the month of January and actually carry that through the whole year. Always be very, 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 very clear. Leave no room for mix-up, misinterpretation, any of that stuff. Take the higher moral ground whenever you're presented with that. If somebody made like this guy, the Knight of Cups, comes to you, makes you this incredible offer, tells you an incredible story, but there's something off about it. It's not quite on board. There's a little shadiness going on and you're saying this doesn't feel right. I am not getting involved with him and his schemes. I'm not doing There's something off. It doesn't feel right. Good for you. Take the higher moral ground at all times. At all times. Always, always, always do what's right. Even if you feel you're sacrificing an opportunity, let it go. There'll be more opportunities to come. And you don't have to walk around with this weight on your back or your head feeling guilted out because you know something that was done. It wasn't quite ethical. We'll put it that way. Your keywords are defense, protection, opposition, territory, force, and resistance. And it's you doing the resisting to somebody else. Your next card and the last card in the message from Spirit is... What goes around comes around, and for all the sacrifices that you have done or are going to be doing, there is a reward at the very end. All right? All the craziness is going to slow down. It's going to stop it being forced. Everything's going to come to a stillness. Um, 
It shows what you've gone through in 2018 is now behind you. You don't have to deal with these things again for some of you. Um, and for all your blood, your sweat, your tears, your devotion, your dedication, your sacrifices, you will be rewarded. There is a reward. There is a payoff coming for you extending yourself, trying to be the best human and spirit that you can be. This card, find you Sagittarius, finding a new home for some of you. Um, finishing a job, finishing a project. It shows you passing a test of some kind that could be job related. It's also a card of leisure, a card of fun, and a card of freedom. And this card finds you wanting to really have valid reasons to celebrate the joys of life. Things are turning around and they're getting better. You are very deep spiritually and you're putting all your cards in the universe and trust um, there as well. The advice is to be carefree while you can and take advantage of those down times when you are free and you can let the inner child come out. You can let the stresses go and just relax and just be in the moment. But that's the time you want to refresh and recharge and regenerate your mind, your body, your soul. You're always better when you come back from that. Balance. Love. Commitment. Freedom. Openness. Travel. And a new home. Things are looking up for you. They really are. Let's see what the mystery card is. Judgment. Self-reflection. Makes sense to me. You're not wanting to make the same mistakes in 2019 that you made. And some of them were almost self-imposed mistakes. Um, you really didn't care what was going to unfold or what was going on. Like, I'm not sure. But you're looking back and you might be looking at an older relationship. Um, maybe you separated in 2018. And for some reason, you are thinking about giving somebody a second chance. Let's have a second go at it. Let's take a whirl and, um, and see how it works out. Enough time has gone by. Um, it does look almost like a reunion of a relationship for some of you. So this card is all about giving second chances. Returning to an old situation. You're wanting to take stock before moving on and you're checking for any unfinished business too. You're moving forward in 2019. It's probably going to be the best year you've probably had, like financially, work security, home life, love life. Probably the best year in the last, I'd say, in the last three to four years. This is your best year. Very connected to spirit at this time during 2019. Connected to your guides and your loved ones. You're not walking alone. You're never alone. Keywords are memories, spirituality, guilt. Um, second chances. Doing a review. Um, of where you've been for the last year up to right now. You're doing a review. A lot of self-judgment going on with this card as well. A lot of contemplation and a lot of thinking. Not wanting to make the same mistakes that you made last year, the year before, the year before that. Things are different. You're older now. You're more mature. You're more balanced. You're more settled. <coughs> and that, my dear friends, is your reading. Self-reflection to not make the same mistakes again, to learn from the mistakes and make them pay off for you. If you make a mistake and nothing comes of it, well, that was a real mistake. You wasted your time. Okay, so your year is looking productive, um, more of a balance. I'm sensing um, a sense of maturity. And, um, and I think for a lot of people, whatever your bad habits are, try to clean those up. It's going to make the transition into the better you a lot smoother and you can do this if it's um you know drugs or alcohol this sort of thing you weren't born addicted to drugs 
and alcohol. Therefore, you can go back to that state before you became involved in all that. You can't go back to being you. You can't conquer these things. Really find out what you're made of. You'll be surprised how strong and determined you are. You can be a force to be reckoned with. So, I hope you liked the reading. I hope it helped you, gave you some guidance. Also, um, uh, we are on Facebook. If you just type in the address bar, the search bar, Bay of Funding Fortunes, please remember to put fortunes on the end because there is another Bay of Funding group, but they are specific to literally the Bay of Funding, the interest of it. it has nothing to do with what we do here. So, um, it's a closed and private group as well. Very, very beautiful group. We're all there to support each other. We don't criticize. We don't argue. There's no competition. It's just we're all there together. What a beautiful group. And I know that more people do not like Facebook than people that do because my numbers for the channel are... There's no comparison. Comparison to the numbers in the group, but that's okay. Um, there's just like two different worlds, but that's okay. Like I said, it's just, it's funny to me because I know from experience watching how many people cross over um, and uh, those that don't, there's more that don't than do, but yet they're members of the channel, but they're not going near Facebook, but that's okay. But it is a really nice place to be. It truly is. It's very inspirational, calming, supportive, um, I like it a lot. So anybody else, if you were looking to have a private reading with me, please check down below this video window, right down there, right there, where it says show more, click on it, open it, read through, grab my email, send that off to me and I'll get you taken care of as quickly as I can. Um, see, I've lost my feet like a fish out of water trying to get my rhythm back and uh i've been doing this all day yesterday today forgetting what's next forgetting what i was going to say i think that's about it for anybody else that's looking for me if you don't see me right here in bay of fundy fortunes you'll catch me down below down at the cove walking along the beach along the water's edge they're bringing the highest tides on the whole planet the beautiful and the bountiful the bay of funday no matter where you catch me the Bay of Fundy, I'm surrounded by it. Um, and I'm always, always one eye, two eyes, head turned, watching the tides slide in, slide out, roar in, roar out. And it's a fantastic thing. Cast your cares upon the waters, as they say, and let the tide carry them away. That's what I go by. And anyways, I think that's about it for now. But I would like to just say, keep the peace in so you can share the love and the light out that resides inside of you from the universe be gentle be kind do something kind for somebody make it a stranger um smile say hello nod hold the door open help somebody when you need help um to just touch another human being and humanity in the smallest way and chances are you'll have a butterfly effect It'll affect something on the other side of the world. Thank you very much for being here. I wish you all the best in the month of January. Thank you for your patience with me and your support as well. And now, almost 7 o'clock, this little fortune teller is going to cut for supper. I'm done. Yay! Break up the champagne. Have a good time, everybody. Hope to see you back. Bye-bye.